Hey everyone, and welcome into Cougar Central presented by Energy Ogre. I'm Sydney Gerbracht, this is Eric Kelly, and from all of us here at Cougar Central, we want to wish you a happy MLK Day. Because of his efforts, the University of Houston is ranked in the top three in terms of the most diverse campuses in the nation. We also welcomed our first African-American student, Charles P. Reinhardt, in 1962. And then two years later, said the athletic department became one of the first to integrate when Warren McVeigh joined the football team and Don Chaney and Elvin Hayes joined the basketball team as that was kind of the start of the University of Houston building that champions for life mantra. Absolutely, Eric. And speaking of basketball, men's basketball had another split week of conference play. The Cougs took a 74-58 win from East Carolina, led by Rob Gray's 19 points, and freshman guard Armani Brooks, who posted a career high of 15 points. The Cougs dropped their second matchup of the week to UCF, despite another impressive 28-point performance by Gray, while Galen Robinson Jr. contributed 20 points as well. Women's basketball dropped its two contests to UCF, 62-48, and Tulane, 82-56. Despite the losses, freshmen continued to impress as Jasmine Harris notched her second double-double of the season against the Knights, entering the game as the American Athletic Conference's leading scorer among freshmen. Angela Harris also scored 10 points for her sixth career double-digit scoring game before leading the offense with 15 points against Tulane. On the gridiron, another Houston Cougar added one more game to his senior schedule as Tyus Bowser accepted an invite to the Senior Bowl in Mobile, Alabama. He joins his five fellow Cougar seniors in a postseason game as Steven Taylor and B.J. Singleton will play in the East-West Shrine game and Brandon Wilson, Greg Ward Jr., and Cameron Malvo will play in the NFL PA Bowl. With the invite, this marks the third straight year. Cougar Sr. will be involved in the Senior Bowl after William Jackson III last year and Joey Embu in 2015. Meanwhile in the pool, it was a dominant start to the 2017 season for UH Swimming and Diving as the Cougs took down Incarnate Word 200-96. Multiple athletes picked up victories and the team swept the entire diving competition along with three swimming events. Also a nice start to 2017 for track and field as the Cougars won 10 events at the Leonard Hilton Invitational. On top of that, 26 athletes also finished top three in their individual events. Senior Cameron Burrell started the year off well after finishing runner-up at the NCAA Indoor Championships as he won the 60-meter dash on Friday with a 6.66 time. Good enough for tops in the NCAA this season and fifth in the world. This week in Houston Athletics, a busy week all across the board for Cougar Athletics as men's and women's basketball kick off the proceedings midweek before a jam-packed weekend full of plenty of basketball, swimming and diving, track, and tennis. Well, that does it for this week's episode of Cougar Central. Be sure to follow UH Athletics on both Facebook and Twitter. And don't forget to tune in next week for more UH Athletics updates. And as always, Go, go Cougs! Cougs.